Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pinion. I bring you today's word for September 18th, 2015. This message is part of a series entitled Grace Based Success, where we have been learning how to win in life, how to do it God's way by his unearned and amazing grace. We've been studying the life of the apostle Peter. Our study of his life brought us to Matthew chapter 14. And for over two weeks now, we've been studying this one incident where Peter walked on water. Yesterday, I was really focused in on God-given dreams and how God can, if you open up your heart, God will give you access to the, his dreams, the dreams that he made for you from the foundations of the world. And so today's message flows in that same vein. The title of today's message is Pursuing God-Given Dreams. I'm just going to give you two main points here, two nuggets that we can apply to our lives so that we can know how to pursue God-given dreams and how to do it God's way. So we can make the most of this Friday morning, but also close out the week strong, head into the weekend strong. So let's get into it. So uh, when Peter said, Lord, if that's really you, tell me to come to you on the water, notice once again that Jesus was not offended by the request. Jesus was not upset that Peter wanted to do what he was doing. Actually, Jesus was happy that one of his disciples was actually at the point where he could see himself doing what Jesus was doing. One of Jesus' disciples finally got to the point where they had opened their heart to dream God-sized dreams. Someone had opened up their heart to be able to see themselves doing what Jesus was doing in the supernatural. So when Peter mustered up the courage to ask Jesus for the authorization to flow in the supernatural, to do the humanly impossible, then that pleased Jesus and it also pleased God. See, once you get to the point where you open up your heart to God-sized dreams, then there is no limit to what God can do in your life. For Peter, this was operating in, in the humanly impossible. For Peter, this was walking on an open body of water and defying gravity, walking and operating beyond the limits of this world. And that can happen for you. That can happen for me. That happens for me. And so that happens when we release our faith to access God's grace and we are open our heart to dream God-sized dreams. So what does this mean to you today? I told you I have two major points. I'm going to share them with you. Let's get into it. Number one, muster up the courage to take your dream public. It's one thing to have a dream, but then it's something else to have the courage to take your dream public. See, faith speaks. I did a whole series entitled The Language of Faith. There, faith has a language and it's a language that is not restricted to the limits of this world. It was one thing for Peter to see himself walking on water, like Jesus was walking on water, to see himself doing it in his mind, to see himself doing it in his heart. But it's something else for Peter to have the courage to open up his mouth and say it. See, once Peter said, Lord, if that's really you, then tell me to come to you on the water, he was caught he was crossing what I call the faith line. I mean, he was getting out there so far that if God don't do it, it can't get done. He, he passed the faith. He crossed the faith line. He was at the point of no return. Maybe one of the other disciples in the boat thought about it. Maybe one of the other disciples received the dream too. We would never know. You know why? Because they did not open their mouth. They did not have the courage to say it. See, when you open your heart uh, to God, really, I mean, completely open, you free yourself to see what God wants to do in your life. But then it takes a renewed mind to say what you see. Seeing it is one level, but then saying it is another level. It, it takes a renewed mind. You got to renew your mind. You got to be able to see yourself the way that God sees you. And then you got to have the courage to say what you see. You got to have the courage to take God public. See, it takes courage to, to walk and live by faith. It takes courage to take God public. It takes courage to say what, what you are seeing in your heart, to say what God has given you in these dreams. It takes courage to say it. My question for you today on this Friday morning is, do you have that type of courage? Do you have the courage to say what you see? Do you have the courage to take your dream public? All right, number two, then once you take your dream public, you got to rely on the originator of the dream to bring the dream to pass. See, true human faith is rooted in God's grace. Therefore, faith is not reliant on or restricted to human ability. Faith is not 
about human ability at all. Stop counting on you. Stop counting on your power. Peter knew that walking on water required God. There's no way that Peter could walk on water without God. And likewise, there's no way that your God-given dream will come to pass without God. He gives you dreams that exceed your power, ability, and strength so that you can rely on him. So don't take on unnecessary pressure to perform things that you can't humanly do. Do what you can and believe God for the rest. See, faith takes on no human pressure to perform the divine. Let me say that again. Faith takes on no human pressure to perform the divine. Faith relies on the divine for the divine. So when you begin to truly live by faith, you will find yourself in situations where you say, okay, Father, here I am. I've done what you told me to do. I've said what you told me to say. Now, if you don't do it, it can't get done. And see, and when you get to that point, I've been there many times. And when you get to that point, God loves it. He loves it when you have the faith to get to the point where you are completely, totally reliant on him. And let me tell you something. God won't let you down. I'm a witness. He will not let you down. Once you go public with God, once you go public with your dream, then your mouth just wrote a check that only God can cash. But don't worry. His account is unlimited. So let's close this out with a declaration of faith. Speak this over your life on this Friday morning. Close out the week strong, head into the weekend strong. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your grace and my requirement to live by faith. You give me dreams that exceed my ability, education, bank account, and relationships. You put dreams in my heart that line up with the plans that you made for me before the world began. Those dreams have everything to do with grace. They are unlimited, unmerited, unearned, and most of the time even undeserved. You then expect me to have the faith that will access your grace. I declare that I do. I get in your word daily. Your word helps me to build my faith. And my faith says yes to your dreams for my life. I am now at the point where I have the courage to take you public. You put dreams in my heart and I say what I see. And once I do, I know my mouth just wrote a check that only you can cash. But that's okay because your account is unlimited. No limit living is my new normal. I declare this by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. If you're not getting these messages, go to todaysword.org. Sign up. You're going to get the messages. They'll be a blessing to you. If these messages are a blessing to you, share them with your friends. As you head into this Friday morning to close out the week strong, head into the weekend strong, just remember, if you open up your heart to God-sized dreams and then you pursue those dreams by faith, you will experience your best life now. God bless you.